Hello, I'm Dr. John Daly, Chief Medical Officer of COLA. In the July 15, 2016 Morbidity and Mortality Weekly, the CDC reported the development of increased resistance to the two antimicrobial agents used to currently treat Neisseria gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a common infection with greater than 350,000 cases reported in the United States in 2014. Currently, azithromycin and ceftriaxone are used in combination to treat and cure gonorrhea. The reported studies indicated that the percentage of samples resistant to azithromycin rose from 0.6 to 2.5%, and in the case of ceftriaxone, the percentage of resistance rose from 0.4 to 0.8%. Thus far, there have been no reported treatment failures in the United States, and the CDC recommendation continues to be the oral dose of azithromycin combined with a single shot of ceftriaxone. The concern is, however, that resistance to these two antimicrobials appears to be increasing. Neisseria gonorrhea through the years has repeatedly demonstrated the ability to retain resistance to the drugs used to treat it once it has become resistant to those drugs. And if this trend continues, this infectious disease could become more difficult to treat. Once gonorrhea develops resistance to the drug, it does not lose this resistance even after many years, and studies have shown the organism, even if not being used to treat patients, retains its resistance to the antimicrobials to which it has become resistant. Neisseria gonorrhea resistance is a topic of importance in population health and one to keep abreast of if you are treating patients with this infection. You need to keep in mind that almost all the methodologies used to identify this organism are molecular and sensitivity is not being routinely performed. Consequently, if you encounter a treatment failure, you should contact your local health department and determine what laboratory you can send a culture and sensitivity to in order to be certain that you are not dealing with a resistant strain of the organism. Thank you for your attention.